This is the Mansion House on Dawson Street in Dublin. It's now 314 years old. It's been in the City Council or Corporation as it was in that time for 305 years now. And um, the significance of it is it's, it's the oldest freestanding home in Dublin. This weekend, because of the significance of the first oil having taken place here in, on the 21st of January 1919, we're opening the house to the public to let them come in, have a look around, see the various rooms, the drawing room, the oak room, Lady Mayoress's parlour, the dining room, and of course the round room, which where the first oil was held. And um, we're going to have the Dublin City Council historians in residence. They're going to be here to answer any questions. We're going to have memorabilia, we're going to have exhibitions. So here we are in the oak room of the Mansion House, a very historic room um, that has held many important meetings and events uh, throughout the years in, in Dublin and Irish history. And particularly so during the Irish Revolutionary years when the Lord Mayor Lawrence O'Neill opened the Mansion House um, to many various different bodies. One of the first meetings held here was um, of significance was the Mansion House Conference the anti, of the anti-conscription campaign in April 1918 when all of Nationalist Ireland united in opposition to conscription and they, they signed a pledge here. This, this room held most of the private meetings of the first and second all. The round room was for the public meetings, the oak, oak room for the private meetings. So many of the cabinet ministries appointments were made here. For example, on the 2nd of April in the, the fourth um, Dáil meeting, Countess uh, Constance Markovic was um, um, nominated and um, selected to be one of the first female cabinet ministers throughout, throughout the world when she became Minister for Labour. It also had many uh, meetings as well um, during the truce negotiations with the British in um, 1921 and the actual truce was signed here in July 1921. 